Hey Hoover family, it's Mr. Craig coming at you live from the upstairs living room today. It was a little windy outside and I figured it'd be best to be inside because we're going to be using pieces of paper for our activity today. Um, before I go on, I want to say sorry about the goofy glasses I'm wearing. I lost my contacts. Just kidding. I don't wear contacts, but I did want to wear goofy glasses so I could get your attention. Um, hope it's working. I will not be doing the workout with these on because they will fall off my face. On to our activity for the day. It is called Paper Fitness Challenge. So this is gonna be a follow the teacher fitness activity and then we're gonna use the paper to do a minute to win it. So it's a little longer video today. Today, your first step is to find five pieces of paper. It can be white paper, notebook paper, doesn't matter. Step number two is to decide if you wanna be on level one, two, or three. Level one, you're gonna fold your paper nice and thin or as I like to call it hot dog style so it's not very thin because you'll be jumping over it. Level two, you're gonna take your full piece of paper and fold it hamburger style, booyah, because it's a little bit thicker and you'll, again, you'll be jumping over it. Level three, and none of these are super challenging, but it might be good to go on level um, one or two. You want your level three, you're just gonna unfold that, that bad boy just like I have the pieces of paper behind me. So I'm gonna try level three. Again, you can try whatever level you want. So this is going to be sort of a, an, an agility jumping um, activity for the most part. We're gonna do a little bit with our hands, kind of work on those push-ups. Um, we're going to be going over the pieces of paper. So I'm going to demonstrate the, act, the exercises that you're going to be doing. Again, you can follow along with me in the video and do exactly what I'm doing. I might recommend, um, all right, let me adjust my glasses. I might recommend um, just watching it and then doing the same thing. Every time I go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and you'll see how I go. I'm going to go two feet, one feet, things like that. When I get to the last piece of paper, I'm going to jog back to the start. I'm going to do each thing three times. Okay, go and watch. Oh.
Okay, so now that we've done our fitness activity and we've caught our breath, we're gonna use the same pieces of equipment to do a minute to win it challenge. A lot like last week, you're gonna be doing some underhand or overhand tossing into a basket, whatever's comfortable for you. A little different is today, of course, we're gonna be using a basket, and you can put that at the end of your paper of your paper trail. And we're also going to be using a hat that we're gonna put inside of the basket. And we're gonna be using our paper to make little paper balls. Now what we're gonna be doing is using our four paper balls. We're gonna do a minute to win it challenge. We are going to be tossing them into our basket or into our hat, okay? And we're gonna be doing it from the start of our paper trail. We have a minute to get as many points as we can. If it lands inside the basket, it's with one point. If it lands inside the hat, it is worth two points, okay? After you've thrown your four balls, you just run down, go back to the start and throw them in as many times as you can and get as many points as you can. Remember to keep track of your points, okay? Let's see how many I get in one minute time. I'm going to start my timer. Here we go. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Space jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. timer for me so it looks like I managed to get 10 points I made a couple uh, two-point shots in my hat um, and six other points in my basket so I got 10 points total um, as I said everybody have fun doing this I'm put all my goofy stuff just in case you skip to the end of the activity you'll be like why is mr. Craig wearing a weird hat and cool sunglasses and you won't know what happened you have to go back and you have to watch the whole thing again um, so yes um, ooh, that Sun is so bright um, have fun with this everybody Get a little bit of a workout in and get a little bit of a Mr. Craig challenge in. Um, take your time on the workout though. If you try to do it all straight through so you get your heart rate up, but if you're feeling tired or dizzy, just go ahead and stop. Don't worry about pushing through, doesn't matter. I take breaks during my workouts all the time. It's healthy for you. Don't forget to drink water before you try the workout and drink water during and after, okay? Always be hydrated, especially now that it's getting warmer outside and the sun's kind of heating us up a little bit, especially if you're doing this outside. Um, but that's it, everybody. Um, hope you have a great time doing this activity uh, and have a great weekend. And never uh, forget to bring your family involved in the activity if they want to get a little workout and or have some fun. Okay, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you all soon. See you later.